Hi everyone, this is Jana here. Welcome back. So due to the high demand, because so many of you asked how to make uh, the two ingredient vegan meat, but gluten free, here we are, my lovelies. So many of you requested and I have delivered because I love you all. So today we're going to make the two ingredient vegan meat and uh, gluten free. And uh, before we start the video, I would like to ask you to, you know what? Subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified every time I post a new video. You don't want to miss on that. And um, let's go to the two ingredient vegan meat. So we start with um, shiitakes, uh, dried shiitakes. To which I have um, soaked for four hours. If you don't have that much time, you can simmer them for 15-20 minutes in low heat. So they will expand and they will double the size. And uh, these are Chinese uh, uh, dried shiitake. I'm not sure if they're chi Chinese. I'm pretty sure that they're um, either Chinese or Japanese or... Uh, but I will show you the package so you are sure to which one uh, as to which one uh, to buy. I will post down below also the links uh, for the ones that I buy and uh, okay after they have soaked uh, in the, for four hours um, approximately I have squeezed them to remove the excess water but only the excess wa water because I don't want them soaking wet and we're going to add to the food processor just like the first time and we are going to pulse it all right five six times posing and now we're going to add our binding agent which in this case is going to be chia flour yes because this is the best one the chia flour it's um it has both a lot of protein and a lot of uh, good um things for your body but it also has this elastic uh binding um how can i say bouncy property just like the gluten flour does so and this one is gluten free so what i'm going to do is to add quarter cup for this amount of mushrooms all the quantities and description the full description and the printable recipe is going to be linked down below as well as my uh, website so refer to that and um, we're going to post two or three times more mind you I don't want this too fine because this is supposed to resemble um, soy curls or what else uh, TSP TVP something like that so if it's too fine it's gonna turn into a paste we don't want that done how cool was that and just like the the last time you can put it in separate uh, uh, bags or wherever you like to freeze your food and it's good to go for up to four months and when it's time to cook again you just remove it from the freezer and you can make a um, hamburger patties you can make a meatballs meatless meatballs obviously you can make a whole lot of different different things with it i always have that on my fridge because it's the easiest thing in two days yeah tomorrow no thursday uh, i will be hosting a little soiree here soiree so uh, a couple friends are gonna come over and uh, we're gonna have lasagna because my lasagna is the most <laughs> famous lasagna in the island and uh, that's what they want and um that's why I keep preparing this because they are good for an everyday meal as well as emergencies. So what's not to like? Removing the blade so you guys don't yell at me. The last time I did remove, by the way. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Pretty crumbly and yet firm. And uh, let me show you uh, how firm they are. If you want to make a meatballs or um, especially a hamburgers, you don't need anything else other than 
flavors as in herbs and spices and if you want to add onions or something like that extra vegetables just to give the vitamins a little boost but um, they are so firm look at that Didn't I tell you? So please let me know in the comments below if you have made it. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, of course, when you cook it, you're gonna have to add all the ingredients as you would normally do if you were making ground beef, ground chicken, uh, soy curls, or um, uh, vegetable protein, or anything like that, because this is just a basic of the basic of the basic. So uh, every time you want to cook something using mock meat or some extra protein, this is the way to go. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of that. Now I'm just going to put it in a bag and freeze them. I'm not even going to freeze them because I'm going to use it. <laughs> so pretty soon. This is it. Straight to the freezer now. Remove the air. Like that. <laughs> Remove the air. I like to fold it and put it on the freezer and this is it guys so uh, I hope you have enjoyed it I hope that you guys who are um, gluten intolerant I hope you have liked it I think this texture and the flavors uh, on the final result it resembles very much uh, real meat I know right uh, and uh, yeah so I see you next time don't forget to follow me on my social media it's gonna be linked down below and uh, oh, you hear that that's my kitty cat and um, don't forget to check on my patreon if you would like to know how to help me on the channel and uh, my Amazon shop is gonna be linked there and I see you next time have a wonderful week bye bye